Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> We're going to continue on doing our Only Fools and Horses series here. This is Season 3, Episode 1. It's called Homesick. So I guess somebody's going on a trip somewhere. Season 2 was, was pretty funny. It had some good jokes, some good episodes. The last episode we watched uh, was... Diamonds are for Heather. It wasn't a very funny show, you know. Dell had his heart broken, I guess. You know, his future ripped away from him. And we had to listen to Old Shep a couple of times. Season 3 now? That's good. It's like a, a new start, a new beginning. I'm a little confused about your uh, series here. This one is seven episodes. You know, in the States here, not, I'm not in the States, but I watch, you know, American TV. These shows would have 24 episodes for, for a season. You know, come September, all, all new 24 episodes coming. So I'm not really sure how it works there. You know, it's seven episodes. Usually they're six. I don't know why they're seven now. But do, do you have to wait, like, till it comes around again, uh, like a year for the next set? Or do they release these, you know, a couple of times a year, the, the series, you know, six, seven episodes? Is it one one series a year or, you know, I don't know. I find that a little confusing because, you know, six, six or seven episodes of a show, it's a long wait for the new show to come along. Anyway, let's get on with the series again. This is Only Fools and Horses, Homesick. Let's watch. All right. La, 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 la. His legs are still playing him up. He's not coming to a tenants meeting with us. You're still coming, in, Chai. I'm going out with that little waitress that I blagged at the Pisa Palace. Hey, how did you manage to pull her? I told her I was a Euro minister. <laughs> <laughs> she must be thicker than them pizzas she dishes out. <laughs> Here, what's all this about, anyway? I'm writing out a list of questions I want to ask at the meeting. Like why the lifts are still out of action in our block? No, more important things than that. In the last year, we've had a crime explosion on this estate, yet the police, they don't come near or by, and I want to know the reason. Well, they can't get on the estate. The natives won't let them. Last month, a copper came round just to return a lost dog, and we had three nights of rioting. Ooh. I'm going to demand more police patrols. Not too many, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why don't you tell them what happened to poor Rita Aldridge then? What happened to Rita Aldridge then? <laughs> <laughs> Last Friday night, she was indecently assaulted over by the Adventure Playground. Did she report it? Yep. I saw this morning she'd just been down the police station. Hold on a minute. If this happened on Friday night, how come it's taking her till Wednesday to report it? <clears throat> because she didn't know she'd been indecently assaulted <laughs> until this morning when the bloke's check bounced. <laughs> <laughs> no smoking. How are you going, buddy? What's your brain, Dad? Oh, his legs was playing him up. Yeah, well, it's most probably just a touch of fibrositis, you know. That's how my nan started off. Did you ever meet my nan? Well, only at her funeral. <laughs> so, you at her funeral, aren't you, Dave? My name's not Dave. My name's Rodney. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. I've looked it up on my birth certificate and my passport and everything. It is definitely Rodney. Oh, well, you live and learn. <laughs> Basil, are you going to get this meeting started? Me and Dave ain't got all night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't start the meeting without the vice chairman in attendance. Well, how long's he going to be? Ooh, he died a fortnight ago. <laughs> died? You need a new vice chairman? Well, if it'll help you out any, Baz, I'll nominate Rodney. What? Right, second it. <laughs> now, hang on a minute. Nomination accepted. Welcome aboard, sir. I don't want to be vice chairman. Oh, well, I suppose Del Boy was right all along. Well, you always said you was too immature to accept responsibility. Oh, did he? Where do I sit, Baz? Right. Now, the first item on the agenda is my resignation. <laughs> Don't down that entry. Yeah, I'll have a quick one with you, Baz. Oi, what about the meeting? Well, you'll have to close it, won't you? You ain't got a vice chairman. Meeting closed. We've done that well, didn't we, Trevor? <laughs> 
Oranges there, lovely. Three for 25 feet there, lovely. They're juicy, they're full of vitamin C. Suck one of these a day, you'll never catch scurvy. What do you want? Three, darling? There you go, 25 feet. God bless you, love. Look after yourself. Come on, girls, the finest Spanish oranges just in from Seville. Thank you very much. God bless you, my love. Come on, where the ruddy hell are you been, eh? You know where I've been. I told you I had to go down to Town Hall. That was four hours ago. Oh, yeah, sorry. We're... Well, but, you know, I got a bit involved with council business. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, of course, I got a bit involved myself here, you know, with silly little things like trying to organise us some profit. So I had to go down and introduce myself to Miss Mackenzie. Oh, who's Miss Mackenzie? She's a very important lady, mm. and she was very impressed with me. What do you want, three? She's very intelligent, actually. We got on really well. Yeah, well, they do say the opposites attract, don't they? <laughs> come on, you. Get these crates sorted out, will you? What? Oh, come on, Del. Do you want any wages tomorrow? Where shall I put them? <laughs> don't tempt me, Rodney, don't tempt me. <laughs> Oh, there's Grandad. <laughs> All right, dear old boy. Oh, hello, Grandad. What are you doing here, eh? I've just been getting something in for dinner. Yeah? What have I got, Grandad? You've got adult pie. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, how's your legs? Still hurting. Look, if you want to hang on, I'll give you a lift back in the van. No, that's all right, Rodney. See you later. Yeah, see ya. No, that's all right. That's all in hand. Mm. I'm going to sack him one of these days, I will. Hang about. Bill. Oh, oh my God. Granddad. Granddad. Oh, what's the matter with him? Well, how the hell do I know? Dell the brain bacon. No, he ain't been at this. <laughs> Shall I give him the kiss of life? I ain't that bad. <laughs> Thank God for that, you're alive. I just got up to switch over to Crossroads. <laughs> and what happened? I don't know. I didn't see the end. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Me legs give way. Them stairs will be the death of me. Look, I'll put him in the bedroom. You phone for the doctor, Rodney. Right. <laughs> Hello, Dr Becker. Look, sorry to bother you, but it's my granddad. He's not very well. Yeah, my name is Trotter. Oh, you remember? Has what cleared up? No, I, I've never heard anything like that. You must be getting me mixed up with somebody else. Well, is he coming round? Yeah, well, could you come round straight away, please? You're going out to dinner. Give us that, will you? Hello, Doctor. We've got a mutual friend. Her name is Rita Aldridge. And I happen to talk to your good lady wife every day in the market. Right. He's on his way round. <laughs> I want you to make sure that he gets plenty of sleep and lots of fresh air. Fresh air? Haven't you noticed all the juggernauts and buses smoking away past this place? Well, there isn't very much I can do about the pollution problem. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Doctor. What about his legs? Oh, don't worry. He's got legs like Nijinsky. Huh. Nijinsky's a racehorse. I <laughs> thought <laughs> he means Nijinsky the Russian ballet dancer. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, well, what's, what's the matter with him then, Doctor? Exhaustion! Now, what he needs is ground floor accommodation. Have you seen any of those new council bungalows in Harrington Road? Oh, yeah, them. They're lovely, aren't they? Still, what chance do we stand? I could uh, write a letter to the council recommending you be moved. Mm. You did that for my mum back in 1962, and they moved us here. <laughs> so the only other thing that would hold a lot of sway would be support from the chairman of the Tenants Association. Now, who is the chairman of the association these days? It's me. What? Hmm? All right. Good boy. <laughs> Didn't know you were in here. What you got there? Oh, it's just some fruit. <laughs> you get, got him some grapes, have you? No, they're oranges. <laughs> Orange. Oranges? I couldn't think of what else to get him. Look, Del, you know I'd like to help. Be your granddad, I'd have a suck at it. Now oh. <laughs> you could do this to your own flesh and blood, I've got no idea. 
I mean, I've only been chairman of the association for two days and already I'm into it for a new bungalow. I'm not concerned with... It's only concerned with Grandad. I mean, his brain went years ago. <laughs> now his legs are gone. There's only the middle bit of him left. Still here, tell boy. Yes, I'm here, Grandad. It's all right. Don't worry. Look. Rodney's brought you some oranges. <laughs> I'll put them over there, shall I, with the other 3,000? Oh, Rodney, yeah. put your hand under my pillar. Well, what's under there? <laughs> <laughs> Just something what was left to me by my granddad. What is it? It's my granddad's old cigarette case. What's this big thing? See, one night, my granddad was on sentry duty and suddenly a sniper fired at him. The bullet was aiming straight for my granddad's heart, and the bullet hit that instead. It saved his life. Well, not really. The bullet ricocheted up his nose and blew his brains out. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to have it, Rodney. What? My gran always said it were lucky. <laughs> Granddad, he made the bullet ricochet up his nose and blow his brains out. And do you know where he died? Fighting the Zulus at the Battle of Rorkstriff. Was he actually there? I always thought it was the Welsh. No, no, it was definitely the Zulus I saw the film. It'll be something to remember me by. You remember what he done to you. I'll see to that, don't you worry. <laughs> oh, don't keep on at him. I think I would have liked the garden, though. I've never, ever had a garden. Still, what you've never had, you never miss. Rodney, where are you going? I'm going to fuck Miss Mackenzie about a bungalow. OK. Welcome back. You're one of the family again. Hell, boy. Yeah. I'd like to be cremated. Well, you'll have to wait till morning, cos it'll be closed now. <laughs> <laughs> The oranges oh, everywhere. God. That old biddy from the council will be here in a minute. Now, I'd like you to meet Miss Mackenzie. Good evening. <laughs> a tonde, I'm sure. A tonde. <laughs> Please do sit down, Miss Mackenzie. I've just been in to see... I've just been in to see your grandfather. He's a very interesting man. Well, uh, has it always been your ambition to work for the council, Miss Mackenzie? Actually, when I left school, I wanted to be a choreographer. Really? What a coincidence, because I always wanted to go into the medical profession myself. <laughs> <laughs> a choreographer, though, it means she wanted to teach dance. Are you interested in dancing then, uh, Margaret? Well, I was a student of dance for two years. So was I. Oh, really? Yeah. I was at the London School of Dance. Dale was at the Arthur Murray School, Lewisham. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, why don't you go into the kitchen and put your head in the food blender? Well, do you like ballet, Margaret? Oh, yes, very much. Yeah. What about that Nijinsky, then? Eh? Nijinsky? Yeah, fabulous dancer, eh? Well, for the Soviet. Yeah. Actually, I was thinking of getting a couple of tickets, you know, for one of the shows. Nijinsky died in 1950. <laughs> <laughs> Did she? <laughs> she? He was a man. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course he was. Sorry, sorry, because I know I always get him mixed up with uh... Arkle. Yeah, Arkle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have all the information I need. How long will we have to wait? You can know right now, Rodney. I've just signed it. Here's your new rent book and all the necessary paperwork. I don't believe it. You sure you don't want to double check nothing? Well, that won't be necessary, Rodney. Margaret knows what she's doing. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> say thank you to the nice lady. <clears throat> I'm only too pleased to help. Many people get themselves voted onto tenants' committees purely for their own ends. But Rodney's different. He cares. No, oh, he does. He cares. He's a diamond. He really is. <laughs> well, I hope you'll be very happy in your new home. I'll see you at our next committee meeting then. Yes, yes, of course. And um, thanks again. <laughs> Well, I suppose we'd better get you back. Now, to I'll the see office. Margaret out, Rodney. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, if only there was some way that I could show my appreciation. I mean, why, why don't I take you out for a nice celebratory drink? Oh, that's very nice of you, but I've got a lot of paperwork to finish. You know, some other time then, maybe, eh? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, goodbye. Hey.
No, no, not goodbye, Margaret. No, just bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Done it? Now that is a power of being a chairman, Del. Leave it out. It was my chat what did it. Do it. Have we got it, Del? Yeah, of course we've got it, Granddad. Look, we move in next week. Ah! Hey, my oh, old man. Said, oh, <laughs> Dilly dally on the way. We feeling a little bit better, are we, Granddad? <laughs> I'm feeling on top of the world, Rodney. Five minutes ago, you couldn't wiggle your toes, and now you're doing an audition for the Hot Shoe Show. You two have really stitched me up, haven't you? <laughs> we couldn't let you in on our little plan, could we? Because you, you're full of principle, aren't you? Icky hot granddad. Yeah. We've got ourselves a beautiful new home and no stairs. Yeah. Granddad, the point mm. is that we lock. Well, I suppose them stairs were a bit much for you. And I can hardly blame Del for the lifts breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> you even went to the truck. Right, okay. come here, you. Okay. I'm going to hurt you really okay. bad. Ah. Oh, hello, Margaret. Did you uh, forget something? I've just realised that you quite naturally would like to celebrate your new home, but as Rodney would have to stay in with Grandad, you have no one to go with, so if your invitation is still open... Hmm? Of course it is, yeah. If you just like to hang on uno momento. <laughs> <laughs> I mustn't have too much to drink, though. It goes straight to my head. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> <laughs> have to keep our eye on you then, won't we, eh? <laughs> Wait, listen, I'm off out. I don't know what time I'm going to be back, but don't put the chub on, all right? What I thought we might do is slip down the next head for a couple of swift halves, go on to this little spick drinking club I know over at New Cross. I don't want to be out too late. Don't worry, we'll get you back in your flat before free. Here I do. Don't forget your scarf is free. Hello again. He seems to be over the worst. Yeah, well, you know, it comes and goes. Collapse. What? Collapse. I shouldn't bother. Oi, you're going to need the keys if you... I believed you. I believe me. I assume you'll be resigning, Mr Chairman? First thing in the morning, yeah. I'm going to do you all yet another favour. I'm going to save you the inconvenience of moving. Margaret? What? We're still on for that drink. <laughs> <laughs> so that was season three, episode one, Homesick. Well, that was a big con all the way through, you know. They conned Rodney, breaking, breaking the elevator, and you think Trigger was in on it? Maybe. It seems strange to me that Trigger would be at their uh, their meeting. He's got his own house. Why was he there? So that seems a little strange. Finally remembered Rodney's name, but it wasn't at the best time. <laughs> I don't know where they got all the oranges from. They never really said that. I have uh, oranges everywhere. Grandpa... Well, they, they just, you know, tricked Rodney, got him feeling bad, and lost his job as chairman. And it was a good show for Rodney. I mean, I'd be very upset, you know. That woman thinks she he was in on it when he actually wasn't, so she figures he was lying when he was actually being sincere. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And have a nice day.